Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eli, back with another review video. And that's right, continuing on reviewing Star Wars Visions. Now we're up to part three. Um, if you remember, because in part one and two, Little Blue joined me, you know, uh, reviewing uh, the first uh, five episodes, but now it's just me for this and um, <clears throat> the, uh, the fourth and final part. So yeah, part four will be the final part. So for part three... We are, of course, we're, we're of course now up to episodes six and seven. Starting with episode six, uh, T zero B one, um, a a cybernetic boy who dreams of being a Jedi. Looking at this on the tablet, discovers a dangerous truth about his creator. Okay, this one, yeah, I understand. Uh, this one was pretty interesting. Um, uh, cybernetic boy, you know, almost like if he was real, a real boy and such. Um, you know, if I'm mentioning Pinocchio, but, uh, he discovered, because, you know, he dreams of being a Jedi, and, um, you know, he, uh, we find out, of course, that his master, I guess his creator, he, he's a Jedi as well, with the Force, and, um, he, and there's one part where, because the, the cybernetic, well, I think it's, no, it's, it is, his name is T, T-Zero-B-1, and, like, gets on a ship and, like, sends out a transmission or something, I don't know, he was, I guess, fooling around, and, like, an Imperial shuttle picks up the distress beacon, and uh, like a Sith, you know, uh, it go of course arrives to the planet, and uh, you know, of course, the Cybernet boy does discover about uh, the ma the ma the identity of his master, the secret, which being of course, you know, one with the Force, and he keeps uh, he keeps uh, well, the Cybernet boy's name, I you know, T zero B one, he keeps him safe, and when he gets out, like he sees that the planet that he's on was totally destroyed and his master was killed and he then starts fighting the sith and you know uh i guess he he gets knocked out or he in, he visions his master and like you know he get he knights him you know that kind of stuff and uh he and he becomes a jedi a true jedi and defeats the the sith so that was an okay episode and pretty good and then uh episode seven the elder a jedi and his his Padawan pursue a dark and powerful presence. Okay, now this one was not bad. I recognize one voice, and the Elder. Um, that was because uh, the Elder was clearly because like a like a Star Wars like samurai. You know? Yes, I was right. Because uh, oh, okay, David Harbor. He did a voice. I assume because it was the master. He voiced the master. Um, <clears throat> And uh, James Hong. James Hong was the old man, and, you know, because clearly, because, you know, because with, you know, because with this elder being, like, kind of like a Sith, I guess, an old Sith, or has has red lightsabers, and the light, the red lightsabers are in the style, are clearly lightsaber versions of samurai swords. He's got two of them, and the look of them, they're clearly the lightsaber version of a samurai sword. And at one point, uh, it seemed like, you know, the Padawan, uh, was killed, um, you know, but no, uh, he survives. I think, yeah, the Padawan, uh, I don't know, I'm looking like, I, th voiced by two, I, like, Tajin, like, well, David Harbour, I assume, is the, I assume he voiced the Master, but I don't know, um, Jordan Fisher voices, I guess, the Padawan, and James Hong voices the old man, and at one point, because it seemed like the Padawan was killed, and the master sensed the presence, like, went out, you know, I like, got close, and now taking on against the old man, and he does defeat the old man by, like, you know, because the old man does ignite force lightning, and he gets up close, like, you know, gets up, able to get up close, and then, like, gets the lightsaber up to his, up close to him in his chest, and just killing him instantly, like that, and, uh, and at one point, because, um, you know, when he goes up, when the master goes up to the Padawan, we see that the elder, the old man is not dead, just about dead, but not dead quite yet, because he sets off in a detonator inside of a ship. I, it could have been, yeah, I think it was the one that the master and the Padawan were on, and once that, it, it's exploded, the old man is dead completely, and that was kind of gruesome to see, he like crumbles, you know, and oh my gosh, <laughs> and um, you know, the Padawan is actually did survive uh, in some way, I Kind of didn't pay attention, but I need to go back and look. But it seemed like he was dead at first, but no, he fooled the old man, I guess. But um, overall, that episode was okay. Um, uh, and 
I, let me check and see, because, like, with episode six, who voiced the characters? Um, okay, so, yeah, I recognize, I recognize one of them, but, uh, yeah. Again, that was an okay episode. Uh, both episodes six and seven were okay episodes. And up until when we finally review episodes eight and nine, so that'll be interesting. Can't wait to see what those are going to be like, and... Um, you know, uh, once again, all I can say is, and in closing, because, you know, episodes six and seven, um, episode, well, hold on a second, episodes six, uh, T0B1, and episode seven, The Elder, they were pretty good episodes. I thought they were okay. And, yep, so that's going to do it for part three, and stay tuned later for part four, the fourth and final part mm -hmm. of, our, of, of our review of Star Wars Visions. So... Can't wait for that. So stay tuned and get hyped. And I hope you enjoyed uh, my part three review of Star Wars Visions, episodes six and seven. More reviews coming your way. They're going to be awesome. Keep looking forward. And I'll see you guys in the next video slash review video. Take care. Peace out. Bola Fett. And may the Force be with you.